All right, guys, welcome to the third and last part of last week's video. Uh, this one, in this one, I got some other games at microplay, but the one that is it, that is a little bit further from my home. Uh, so my well, there's a guy that works there. I wouldn't consider him a friend, but I would say you know he could become one. It's a, it's a guy I, I like to talk to. Very interesting stuff that we say each time we meet. So yeah, I went there. It's a bit further, but it was worth the ride as you're going to see. So I'm going to start off with a couple of games. Some I got, I would say, as fillers because they were so inexpensive that I would, you know I had to take them. So the first one, a classic. Okay, if you don't know about this game, you don't know about gaming. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. One dollar, one dollar, complete in box, on the Xbox. Uh, I think I have this game on the PS2 already. Uh, I'm pretty sure actually. But for one dollar, I wanted to get it on the Xbox as well. It's the Platinum, Platinum Hit, sorry, Platinum Hits version. But I'm not even sure I had it on the PS2, so I didn't want to take any chance. And anyway, for one dollar, if I uh, find my copy on the PS2, well, I can always sell it for you know the same amount. It doesn't really matter. I can sell it on eBay for five dollars, and it, it's going to be worth it. So of course you know about Tony Hawk, the Tony Hawk series, up to Tony Hawk's. You know, one, two, three, four. Those were good games. The recent uh, iterations of the game are not as good, uh, like Tony Hawk's. What's the last one? I think it's Tony Hawk's Five. Yeah, that's what it's called. And okay, n no, just no. It and there, there's you know Tony Hawk's Ride, which no doesn't work I have Tony Hawk's ride with the skateboard and everything I think I paid something like five dollars for the skateboard and the game and I never booted it because people say it's it's bad but I know that the Tony Hawk's 4 is very good so one dollar no problem there and there's also the other Tony Hawk's like uh, well some are good but like proving grounds is not that good uh, Project 8 is good. Uh, of course, under it's undercover, underground, underground, undercover. It's underground. One and two are very good as well. And yeah. So then there's one. Okay, uh, the guy at Microplay told me this game is bad. Don't buy it. He told me like 15 times this game is bad don't buy it I I believe him but it was two dollars was oh there was another game one dollar game I well doesn't matter now so uh, yeah I don't know about this game okay I don't know about it I know it's complete in bucks that's what I know and he said that uh, it's bad okay so maybe it's very bad but for two dollars I mean I just added it to my collection so it, it doesn't really matter at this point if it's good or not you know so it's called one if you know about this game write in the commentaries I will uh, I will read the commentaries as I always do the other one dollar game that I got is 007 everything or nothing I I like 007 games and I don't think I had this one yet so for one dollar that's that's quite the steal I'm not a fan of 007 movies though but the video games are good developed by EA games uh, and, and it says that it's in third person view it's now in third person view okay well it's usually in first person view but this one it says it's in the third person view uh, I'm sure I'm going to play it so it, you go through missions and you try to complete the missions you know all the objectives and such you know what a James Bond game is 
Uh, and for one dollar, you can't really go wrong again. So even if it would be the worst game ever, like what what what's the game like? Big rigs over the road racing, something like that. Even you know for even if it's a bad game for one dollar, you got you gotta watch your money. Now, Lynx 2004 golf game, two dollars. You know what golfing is all about. I think this is kind of it was um, like the direct competitor of uh, Tiger Woods. It feels like it's a simulation, and yeah, so it's Lynx 2004. I don't really know a lot about it, but it's a golfing game. And you know what it what golf is. Now, I told you that. Uh, there was Tony Aux, of course, Tony Aux for Skater 4, and my friend at Microplay, uh, where near where I live, was in search of uh, Tony Aux Underground 2, and he was like, I'm, sur I'm searching this game at a cheap price and I don't see it. And when I went to the other Microplay, the one I'm presenting the game to you right now, I saw it. And I bought it, you know, and I'm, I was like, well, I'm just going to give it to him, just to thank him for the time that it took uh, yesterday when we went through the big lot together. And I was like, I'm just going to, well, if, if he wanted to pay me back and so be it, but if he didn't want to, I mean, didn't really care, just because I got two games for the price of one again so those games are two for one as well it's a, another micro play not the same but it's the same deals that they had but the thing is I bought the game and I, then I came back to the store uh, near where I live and I'm with one of my friends there and I told him oh I found uh, Tony Hawk's on underground 2 for you know for him and they're like Frank, it's on the PS2 that he wanted it, and it was an Xbox, and I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, I, I I wanted to, I wanted it to be kind of a good surprise, but then it was a kind of a bad surprise, because it wasn't on any console that he had, I bought it on the Xbox, he only has a PS2, well, I think he has a PS3, PS4, you know, but old school console, so I was like, uh you can I trade it and he's like yeah because I already have need for uh, need for speed Tony Hawk's underground 2 I already have it so I didn't really want it to have it to have a second copy so I traded it for Nicktoons Unite uh, so you can play in co-op and that's kind of, I think it's the reason why I went with this game it's cartoony uh, you know it's kind of a combat platformer game and five dollars why not so yeah I don't know much about it but still it's uh, it's uh, developed by THQ yeah and it's uh, Nicktoons characters in there so it's gonna be fun so I also got ultimate board game collection now I know that you guys will be like what why the fuck did you buy it well, I, l I like this kind of game, I can't help. Uh, this is a collection, in it you have 24 classics, you have um, all sorts of games like uh, chess, checkers, backgammon, Chinese checkers, uh, and word games like anagrams, word cues, you have even tic-tac-toe, mahjong, which I really like, uh, and all sorts of games. I will not say that it's the best uh, collection I've ever played. Uh, like I tried the jigsaw puzzle and it's... wow. I, I don't know if I'll try it again. Just to complete a 25 piece puzzle it took me like 30 minutes just cause the, the layer is... the, the yeah, it, it's not easy to play. Not because the puzzle was hard, but because it was hard to play. And uh, yeah, it took me like 30 minutes. And even when I completed it, there there wasn't any like, oh, congratulations, you have completed. No, there was nothing. So I wonder if I did something wrong. Or... But yeah, it's board game. You 
you know what board games are. Five dollars, so uh, I mean, I I got it, but I didn't want to pay that much for it. So then there's Ace Combat 04 Shattered Skies. It's a uh, it's an air combat game. So you you pilot a jet, you know, a fighter jet, and you shoot missiles at your enemies. It says that there are 18 missions. I already owned uh, Ace Combat 5. I'm not a big fan of the series, but from time to time I like this type of game. So I decided to pick it up. The greatest sits version, complete in box. So yeah, there you go. Next up is Capcom Classics Collection. I already owned the Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2. And this was the first volume, 22 arcade classics from Capcom in this collection, $5, very cheap. And as I told you, those games, you know, I am presenting to you something like 30 games and you're like, wow, it cost him something like $100. But no, it cost me, all around, I think it cost me 50 And I mean, I worked quite hard this summer and I think that, you know, I, I deserve to, to get some games. So there you go. A lot of cool, cool games in this. I did not play them all, but I booted the I did boot the game. And in there, there's, there are a lot of shooters, which I really like. I like the old school shooters, but they're hard. And they're very hard, but uh, I'm thinking about x Eyes. Exit eyes. I don't know if that's how you say that, but it was very cool. Section Z was cool as well. A lot of good games in there. Sun Sun, it's a platformer. Really cool. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to jump into that collection again. Last time I tried to play the more games I could in it, I played like 10 games. It was a lot of fun. But as I said, it's. Uh, if you don't like old school games you won't like this but if you do well you might as well pick it up so hold on guys two games and we're done warriors of might and magic so yeah it's the first one it's on the ps1 so i presented to you heroes of might and magic and this is warriors of might and magic uh, I saw a bit of gameplay. It looks like, again, it's a, a game that looks like Battle Gates Dark Alliance, you know, this type of game. You pick up potions, weapons, such as swords, maces, and uh, pieces of armor, and things like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm pumped about this game. I'm definitely going to play it. I saw a bit of gameplay. It looks promising to for my for the style I like so that's Warriors of Might and Magic and then the last game really glad I got it okay I searched it for quite a while and never found it for the price I wanted to pay and so for ten dollars I got to Rayman the first one on the PS1 and that's the greatest hits version though but still so you know what Rayman is it's a platformer and I have Rayman Rush, I have Rayman 2, Rayman 3, Rayman Arena, and I wanted to get Rayman 1. I also have Rayman Legends. I I like Rayman. I think it's an iconic character on the PS1. Well, it's I know it's on the PC as well, and, but uh, I think it's the only Rayman game that that came on the PS well there's Rayman Rush as well I think yeah there's Rayman Rush but other than that Rayman 2 and 3 are, are on the PS2 and Rayman 3 is on the Xbox as well and anyway you, you know the drill so uh, developed by Ubisoft uh, I will definitely play this game soon I think that right after I finished uh, Kingdom Hearts this is the game I'm going to go through I don't see that game being very long, as most PS1 games are. It says that there are 70 levels. So I think it's going to be cool, definitely. 
I am glad I picked it up and for such a cheap price I mean why not complete in box the only downside is that it's the greatest hits version but what you're going to do it's still the game is still the same you know so that's about it I don't know how many games that is but that I know that's quite a lot I hope you have liked it if you would please subscribe like leave a comment I always answer to your comments guys just because I think that I like to interact with the viewers I don't have a lot of viewers a lot of subscribers so I try to interact with you guys as much as I can and I hope you have liked this video uh, and hopefully uh, I will be able to get some more games this week so thank you for watching and uh, as I said like the video and leave a comment thanks for watching and see you next time